My name is Brett Nicholas, and I've been writing books for about uh, 15 years or so, and I've written many books surrounding uh, asking questions. And I'm Tom McGrath. I've written a number of books and spoken widely on the question of faith and family. And what we decided to do here was to team up and create something called the Meal Box. And what we basically did with this was to combine Tom's knowledge of faith and family with my knowledge of the types of questions that families like to interact with around the table. And we've created something where you can start out by asking a question of your children uh, at the dinner table or anywhere else, but specifically designed for at meal times. And then it's followed by a wonderful faith tip that engages the family in a discussion specifically around faith or faith-related topics. Brett and I both are big believers in the family meal. And we realize that the research has shown the import, a lot to us about the importance of the family meal. Children who eat regularly with their families four, three, four, five times or more a week do better in school, have less antisocial behavior, get involved in gangs, drugs, uh, drinking, uh, promiscuous sex at a far lesser rate than, than children who, uh, who don't have that luxury. I know for myself growing up, that was the one constant in my life. We had to be home at 545. Dad was there. We were going to have our meal together. And even if it was spilling the milk and teasing my brother, it turned out to be an anchor in my life. So we believe in it, and the statistics are proving the importance of this meal for parents who want to raise really good kids who are ready to face the challenges in life. Because everybody brings all of their hungers to the meal table, to the dinner table. They bring their emotional, their physical, their social, and their spiritual needs. And we have a, a tool here that we believe can address those. Yeah. And while it's really important to get the kids to the table, that's of primary importance, then the question is, what do you do once you're there? And what I like to say a lot of times is meal time doesn't have to be mum time. In other words, you don't have to just sit around the table, look at each other, and say, what did you do in school today? Oh, not much. You know, what did you do uh, with your friends today? Oh, nothing exciting. You know, you can take it to a much deeper level, and uh, the kids really enjoy it if you start out with these really fun type of questions that we've put in the meal box. Uh, so, for example, we might start with a question that says something like, uh, if you could carve four new faces into the side of Mount Rushmore, whose faces would you put there? And why do you believe these four people deserve such a place of prominence? Well, that's a fun question that allows kids to kind of talk about who their heroes are and whatnot, and parents as well, of course. Uh, but then what it does is it kind of takes that fun question, and on the reverse side of the card, there'll be a fun uh, family faith tip that Tom has come up with that allows a nice segue from the general question to something more faith-specific. Faith right. For example, on the back of that card, we might have something about tell your children about the people who you count as heroes. Who are the people who, who, uh, who show and symbolize the faith and the values that you have and hold dear. It's a great way to introduce them into your values and to uh, make them aware of them. And I just want to say a little word about Brett's questions. Uh, I know for a fact that these work. My wife's a seventh grade math teacher and she has a homeroom and every day the kids ask they want to read something from Brett's books of questions. And uh, she said, well, why don't we do something else today? No, we want the questions. So it's, this, it's something that does work and will work in families. Yeah, and again, the whole idea is to, uh, to be able to make dinnertime conversations fun, but also to be able to bring that faith element into it, which is so important. And what we've tried to do, uh, and Tom did a great job of this in writing the faith tips, is we've kept them very ecumenical in nature so that you don't have to be Catholic or Lutheran or Baptist or any other denomination to appreciate it. There's nothing specific in the theology, but yet it allows parents, if they want to go to a deeper level with the faith tip, they can. Or you can just kind of leave it at the level that it's written at, which is appropriate for everybody, um, which is what I really like about how you wrote them. So. And the questions are nice and open-ended because if kids are not in a great mood that day, they can answer as much or as little as they want to, and yet everybody can plug in at some level. And certainly there's, there, there's opportunity for whimsy and for fun and, and just making up goofy answers. But also, I think, I know for myself, that would get a lot of people to some deep things that you wouldn't have found out about your kids any other way. I know one thing parents really want is to connect with their children. They want to make that connection. And there's no better place to do that than when we get around a table. We know that's the place where people reach that sense of unity and community.